Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video, I'm going to share with you brand new Christmas decorating ideas, a DIYs for your Christmas decorating 2023. Yes, I cannot believe, but the time is finally here. The stores are putting their merchandise out. So it is time to get creative crafting and decorating for Christmas 2023. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a gorgeous garland for your mantle, for an entryway, for a baba mirror. If you just follow the steps, the technique is the same and you're going to as only be dazzled. Also, I'm gonna share with you how to make a statement on your front door with a gorgeous swag. And also I'm going to give you some tips and ideas and DIY tricks so you too can get crafting and decorating for Christmas this year. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends on Instagram, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Why? Because it is free and it really helps this channel. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss any of the Christmas decorating ideas, decorations ideas, and DIYs for this Christmas season 2023. As you can tell, Pearl, you can tell I'm super excited. So I'm gonna take you into the living room and we're gonna get crafting with Christmas decorating idea and DIY number one. Let's take a look. Okay, everyone, so step number one in decorating a gorgeous garland for Christmas for your mantle, above a mirror, or even above a doorway, what you need to do is fluff your garland. And for that, I've done that. I've taken quite a few minutes to fluff my garland because it does take that, but you wanna touch every single bristle of your garland. Now, the second thing is going to be to light your Christmas garland. And for that, I have gotten an extension cord that I forgot to plug in, so excuse me if I disappear. And I'm gonna take one of the lamps out just so that I can plug in this garland and you want to put your lights on your garland with the lights on you guys, because there is nothing worse, let me tell you, than decorating a garland just to find out that the lights were not working and you have to take them all out. Now these are LED lights and they are from Walmart. So you can find those at Walmart. And what I'm going to do is I always like to start right here on the bottom and I'm gonna grab my garland and I'm going to zigzag these lights all throughout the garland and you want to go in you want to go out you want to go in and look how easy it really is and then also you want to make sure that you let them just lay on the outside of your garland because when you put all of your ornaments and ribbons what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull out those lights out so you want to go in you might wanna grab a bristle and just twist it so it, it stays right on place. So basically just doing a zigzag motion. And the reason why I like these LED lights is because they really, really shine, you guys. I used to not like, I used to despise the LED lights because I feel like they kind of have this tickling movement, but they've gotten so good. And right now they have this uh, warm light. They used to be all super cold looking, but now they have come up with some warm, white which is this one i'm using right here and they do last a long time you guys these led lights i've had for like several years and look at them every year i just take my time and i roll them back up and then i store them in a little bin and that way i'm not out buying lights every single year now there was a time where we had to buy lights all the time because well those uh, incandescent lights that tend to go out so much quicker and easier and these LED lights, well, they just don't. And as you guys can see, 100 lights, which is this strength of lights, was enough to do a nine foot garland. This is a nine foot garland that I just basically wrapped all the way around. As you guys can see, I'm just finishing right here. Now, the reason why you wanna start with the end over there is because that's where it's going to plug in. And then that way, if you have extra lights, you can always just go back up with your garland like this and finish right here in the middle. And if you wanted to do a second strength of lights then you can just go ahead that way, but I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna hide my connector right there. Perfect, so that is step number two is to light your garland. So step number three in lighting a garland is going to be to get your ribbon. So I'm gonna get those ready and I'll be right back with you, keep watching. All right, everyone, well, let's continue with this beautiful garland 
DIY for your mental or your entryway door. Now I do want to mention that there's going to be a whole bunch of garland DIYs down in the description box below because last year we decorated a beautiful ball garland. If you guys have not seen the ball garland, it was absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna link that down below so you can check it out after this particular video. But like I said, there's going to be a selection of other designs down in the description video below. So I wanna continue with step number three, which should all be the ribbons by mentioning that I always have all of my tools at the ready. For this step, I'm gonna use my scissors, my wires I already pre-cut and then also have some wire cutters in case that I have to cut some wire. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let my ribbon roll like this. And I want to see about how much I have. So I'm going to pinch right in the middle. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do, and this is the fun part about designing a Christmas tree is because you can just go with the flow. And as long as you eye dictates where you're going, All right, so let's recap real quick. The first thing we did was flap our garland and then we lit it with some twinkle lights or some uh, LED lights, I should say. After that, I added the white ribbon and as you guys can see, what happens on the right happens on the left. And then I did some loops of this beautiful white, not white, but pink mesh. And it's going to be very glam. I'm changing this to glam look. I love the Barbie look, but I think the glam fits more better. And I feel like these tails are a little long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my scissors through it. So that way they can be a little shorter and not as long. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I have this basket right here of beautiful ornaments. And remember you guys, I'm always telling you that you can find these baskets at the dollar store. And then also that what we're going to do is we're going to add one ornament at a time. So we're going to start with this one since we have three of them right here. So I'm gonna add this guy right here and I'm gonna open, I'm gonna go as far as I can, right here, like this. And remember, we always fluff those ribbons at the end because we're going to manhandle them for a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here also. And remember to go as far in as you can with that wire so that way the ornament looks like it's just uh, growing from the garland. That is a secret I can give you. And I'm gonna put one right here in the middle like that and then i have two of these baby pink ones and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on the sides so i'm going to add one right here to kind of start filling in this area as well and then i'm going to move on to this side right here i'm going to grab a bristle and i'm going to go right here just by adding that look at that and the beauty of having this wire you guys if you prep your work like this, like I already put all the wires on them. So then what you can do is be faster. So now because I added a big one of the baby pink right there, I'm going to add one right here like that. Then I'm going to go over to this side of the pink bow. So it's all about the symmetry, right? Like that. And so now I have two more of these baby pink ones. And what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to go all the way down to my garland all the way down and I'm going to attach right here to kind of bring the element all the way down and I have one more and you guys I'm always repeating that what happens on the left happens on the right and then you'll see me just move from one side to the next that is the way that I keep it balanced just moving from the left to the right from the left to the right all right so now I have the beautiful bright pink that I am just obsessed with and what I want to do is I want to repeat where I put smaller ones I want to add yet another one of these pink so it kind of starts clustering them together and creating more of a focal point remember I told you on our peacock inspired Christmas tree which is also going to be linked down below in case you have not seen it a beautiful peacock color inspired Christmas tree I told you that I gave you that tip that by adding a few ornaments on the same area it just creates a focal point Look what is, this one's going to do right here. And then also by adding a large one and a small one, you are creating a beautiful focal point. I'm going to lift up my ribbon right here so I can grab a bristle because this is exactly what I want her. Like that. And those ribbons, like I said, we can always go back and flap them at the end. 
So I'm gonna add yet another one right here. And look, by having that wire, look how easy and fast it really is. So I'm gonna add yet another one right here by my large ornament. You guys, really, if you have not seen that bold garland from last year above the mural with all the red ornaments, it was so exquisite and super easy to make. I really do recommend after this particular garland DIY, go check it out if you have not. And if you've seen it, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed watching that video. I had so much fun putting it together for you and I really do think that you are going to enjoy watching. All right, so I have one left and what I want to do is I'm gonna go over to this side right here to kind of fill in. I'm gonna put this guy right in here. Giving my bows a little bit of a fluff. And see how they kind of peekaboo. I really do want these ribbons to be the statement piece. So now what I'm going to do is step number five, which should all be our picks. I'm gonna get those ready and I'll be right back with you. Keep watching. All right, so for our fifth step, we're going to add our stems and then also our flowers to our garland, you guys. And look at this gorgeous black and white, which I think it is perfect for the pink color as an accent stem. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And you know what, for this occasion, I do want to add some short ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut right here at the joint. And don't be afraid to cut your stems, you guys, because you already paid for it, so might as well just get some bank out of your back and cutting them. So I'm gonna cut pro two and I'll show you how I do that so I get to maximize my money. So what I do is I push these two forward and I cut right here at the joint and then I go about the same height and then I cut again so all of my stems are the same height and that way I'm not struggling. So that is two and I'm gonna cut one more. I'm gonna leave three short ones and three long ones and then if I need any more short ones, then I can cut again, but that way it gives me equal numbers because we always work in sets of threes, twos, and ones. So we wanna make sure that we have enough numbers to cover that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start right here with this beautiful stem. And you always want to give them a little bit of character like that. You wanna fluff them. You wanna make sure that all of those wires look well alive because they come on a box. So I'm gonna insert that guy right there. And then remember what goes up must come down. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach every single one of these right here and I'm going to insert this guy going up like that. Then you wanna make sure that you open them. How absolutely gorgeous is that? So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come right here. Well, actually I'm gonna move over to the other side because remember we always work what happens on the left happens on the right. So immediately we have to go in there and add our element over on this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic this side right here. And you can always use one of your bristles to twist it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here in the middle, right where I put the bow in the middle. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to move over to this side. And I'm going to add yet another one. Letting them fly out so you can actually see those. You don't want to lose all of them. And you know what? I need to cut yet another one because I want to do the bottom of this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right there and remember to measure them. And so that way you can have the same. These are perfect if you are like a wreath maker. They're so beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to insert now this one going down, pushing my ornament like this. How beautiful is that? Okay, so now I'm going to go over to this side and I'm gonna come right here, so pretty. Now I have two long ones and for the long ones, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna insert them right here at the end and grabbing a bristle, I'm just gonna twist it like this and see how that extended all the way down. So we're gonna do the same over on this side. I'm gonna move this bucket because that's gonna be one of our stems I'm going to add. So I'm gonna make sure that I add right here, just going up through my ornaments like that. So now we have all of that on both sides. That looks so beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab, actually, you know what, I'm gonna do the pink one next. What I'm going to do is I have all of these beautiful pink stems and I already fluffed them. So what I'm going to do is I have a black and white right here. I'm gonna skip and then I'm going to add this guy right here like this. 
then I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna skip, and as you guys can see, there is a gap already for you because you've been formulating that gap. That's where you want to go ahead and add all of these beautiful stems. And so now, because that one went up, what we need to do is go down like that. See how that created this? Look how much thicker and lush your garland looks already, you guys. And just by following these steps of what happens on the left, happens on the right, look at that. How beautiful is that? Okay, so now I'm gonna bring one all the way to the end, right here. I'm gonna add it right there. And I'm gonna move over to this side over here and I'm gonna add the exact same thing over on this side, just like that. So pretty. I have two left, but I don't know that I want to use them. You know what, I'm gonna put one going down right here in the center. And for that, I need to lift up all of my ribbons and all of my ornaments making sure that you go through that garland, you guys. And to secure, you might wanna grab one of these bristles and just secure right there, like that. That is really, really good. Okay, so now for our next step, I'm going to add some of these beautiful poinsettias that are white, and that's gonna help us to continue to fill in. Now, these stems are rather long, and also I'm going to cut a little bit of that stem. Once again, don't be afraid to cut your stems because you want to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck. All right, so far so good. This is going to be our last step right here, which is going to be our flyaway, but I'm going to add our accent ribbons. I'll be right back with you to give you that instruction. Keep watching. Okay, so step number six will be to add these beautiful accent ribbons to our gorgeous Christmas garland. And you guys, how awesome and stunning is this black and white? And you know what? To me, elegance means black and white. You can combine it with any color like pink, green, orange and it really just adds that touch of elegance so i'm going to add some of this ribbon right here and i'm going to introduce it just i just want to feel them i don't want a whole bunch of them but i do think that this black and white that's add extra texture and also i like the extra tails hanging down so i did two and then i'm going to add one right here this is the perfect opportunity to elongate the tail of our of our garland look at that See how it just goes all the way down? And I'm gonna move over to this side. Now at this point, I do have to grab over here, like that. Let's see, where do I need another one? I would like one right in the middle. Well, actually, no. Maybe over, um, no. You know what, I'm gonna move on to the pink one. So I also have the pink ones that I have pre-wired. This pink one really does add a statement to it. And I do want to add a whole bunch of this one because as you guys can see, it has an extra layer of pink and I'm going to go in and out. So I'm going to go down here, grabbing a bristle to make sure that I attach it to my garland like that. Look how beautiful. Just adding that extra touch of hot pink, it really does elevate the look. And I'm gonna add another one right here. And remember, we're gonna fluff all of these ribbons at the end. I'm gonna go over here in the corner as well. Like that. And velvet really adds so much richness to any design for Christmas, you guys. I really always recommend to add at least one velvet ribbon to your Christmas tree. Like in the peacock tree at the end, we added that green velvet ribbon and it just added so much to our design. And this just has so much richness to it. As you guys can see, just adding a few of them, it really does add that beautiful touch of holiday. I'm gonna go right here. I have a few more I'm going to add to this design and I'll be right back to give you our last step on how to decorate a gorgeous garland for Christmas. Keep watching. All right, so our last step in decorating this beautiful garland for Christmas is adding our flyaway pick. And for that, I'm going to use this gorgeous frosted pick that it has so much air, you guys. Look at this, how it dances. It is my favorite. And I'm gonna start right here. And this pick, I always add at the end because I do want to make sure that I explain this to you. 
This is what's going to marry all of these elements together. The black and white ribbon, the black and white pick, the white poinsettia, and it just helps to blend in all of the beautiful elements like this. And all you have to do is go ahead and insert this anywhere that you can to add that beautiful feel of holiday. Look at that. And it also to expand the look of your garland. And remember what happens on the right happens on the left. And I always like to have a whole bunch of this at hand because I use it whether it's on silver, gold, white. My favorite one is the white to be honest. It just adds that frosty feel to it. And sometimes you just have to go in there and lift up all of your elements to be able to insert some of these flyaways. But whether I'm making a beautiful centerpiece, and if you guys have seen this centerpiece here on the channel, whether I'm decorating a Christmas tree, I always like to add a flyaway to my designs because it does have that glitter. Look at that. It just makes the garland so much thicker and lush. And I'm gonna continue adding this. I'm gonna finish the top of this beautiful fireplace and I will show you the end result. So keep watching. And just like this, you have a gorgeous garland, all decorated for the holidays in this beautiful glam look that I am absolutely obsessed with. And look, you guys, how much thicker your garland got. By adding all this element, we added some lights, some beautiful ribbons and the mesh, and then also the white um, snowflake. Then after that, we added all of the ornaments that you can actually spot right here, the self pink, the baby pink, and then also this hot pink. After that, we cut all of our picks and elements and we add them. I put a beautiful angel right here and then also some candles on this side. And I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I hope that you liked it as much as I did. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and then also share it with your friends. And now we're gonna get ready for our next DIY. So keep watching. All right, so I just wanna give you a close up of this beautiful garland decorated for Christmas. You guys, this video does not do justice at how absolutely beautiful this garland turned out. Up on the top, I did a trio of beautiful mercury glass candles with real candles, and then I added this angel over on this side. But the start of the show, I really wanna say is this beautiful fuchsia ribbon that is made out of velvet and look at this poinsettia you guys this right here has all of the glitter and the mesh ribbon with all of the flyaways and the ribbon right here with a snowflake in silver it is just absolutely beautiful i love the way this turned out and it is the perfect complement for the barbie christmas tree if you have not seen the barbie christmas tree to match this garland i'm going to link it down below so you guys can see it, but I just hope that you were inspired by this beautiful garland and I cannot wait to read your comments. As you guys can see, creating a gorgeous mental piece or just a garland for about a doorway, a mirror, or anywhere around your home, it's super easy if you just follow these easy steps. I really hope that you will give it a try and I cannot wait to read your comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this glam theme for Christmas. Is that something that you would do? If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends because it is free and it really helps this channel and also you can invite your friends to come and join us at Ramona Home for Christmas season 2023. So now we're gonna go back to the studio and I'm gonna share with you how to create a gorgeous first statement for your front door this Christmas 2023. Let's watch. Okay everyone, so for this next Christmas DIY, what I wanted to do is share with you how to create a gorgeous statement on your front door with a beautiful swag. I'm gonna start with this swag that it's a basic greenery swag. It has already a hook on the back 
and I'm gonna you put it on my easel. And I'm gonna start by adding some of these beautiful ribbons that we use for the peacock tree. If you guys have not seen the peacock tree, it was absolutely stunning and I'm gonna put it down below so you can check it out after this video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some bows and some loops. So basically what I'm going to do, I already dovetail obviously my ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch right here and then I'm going to fold down. Now we have to be very careful how big the loops are because obviously the swag is not really that wide. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab two loops I'm going to tie it very tightly right here. And then, you know, the other day my thumb was hurting. I was like, why is my thumb hurting? Why is my thumb hurting? I just now realized it's because of the wire pulling. Literally, I just realized that. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here to one side and I'm gonna go all the way in. I'm gonna grab a bristle and twist. And we're gonna make sure that we have the ribbon looking like it's growing from our garland. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring this loop over this side. I'm gonna do a, about a 10 inch loop. I'm gonna open my swag and then I'm going to attach right here. And look how beautiful that looks. So we're gonna do one and then I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm gonna do another loop right here. So I'm gonna crisscross it right here to the middle and go all the way in. Because by going all the way in, that's what creates this loop right here, you guys. And then I'm going to go all the way down and I'm gonna create one more right here, like that. And because I finished right here, what I want to do is I wanna grab another of the same ribbon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do another two loop bow. So two twists. We always wanna make that twist to make sure that that beautiful side is forward. And I'm gonna grab this wire and attach right here. And this one I'm going to attach right where I left off of the other one. And that's gonna give us an even bigger bow right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do yet another loop, a big one, and this is what's going to end our swag right here. And up until now, I'm going to leave that long tail like that. I'll decide later where I want to cut it. So that's what it looks like so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing but with the accent ribbon. So we're going to do about a six inch tail pinch. Are you guys enjoying the Christmas 23, 23 season? I'm having such a blast sharing with you guys all of these beautiful Christmas DIYs. Hopefully to inspire you to create something beautiful in your home this holiday season. And I just wanna let you know that we're just getting started. And you know, here at Ramon at Home, we like to do big things. So we have so many planned DIYs and decorating ideas for you guys for the 2023 season. And I could not be more excited to continue to share all of those with you. So be sure to stay tuned. And then also I would appreciate it if you guys share with your friends, uh, invite them to come and join here Ramon at Home whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. Um, you guys have been really good to share on WhatsApp, so I, that's why I wanna mention it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And just so you know, we're just getting started, you guys. This is not even, what is this? Still September, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it is still September. So we have all of October and November to go. So super excited about that. All right, so I'm gonna leave that tail there. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna do some smaller bows. So I'm gonna attach one right here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna use? Maybe this one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one right here. So I'm gonna do one, two. Once again, you guys, the signing is about just letting your eye dictate where it is that you want your items to go. It really, there is no rhyme or reason as long as you learn the techniques and that I mean, hopefully ingraining that on your mind that what happens on the left happens on the right and what goes up must come down and hopefully you learned that enough by now. And I also wanna say thank you to every single one of you who has been watching the channel for a while. You guys, I gotta tell you a story. So a few weeks ago, I went to this little town called Big Bear here in California, Big Bear Lake or Big Bear City. And I was just sitting there listening to music, live music. That is one of my things that I like to do when I'm out uh, just listening to live music and guess what? This lady says, Ramon, what? Ramon in Big Bear City? I just cannot believe 
that you guys have been so gracious enough to say hi when I'm out and about. I love it because it makes me realize the reach that this channel has. And so I invited her, you know, have a drink and she was a host mom. If you're watching, I cannot remember your name, so I'm so sorry. But she, um, she was a host mom. She was there with her host children. And so I invited them for dinner and we just had a, such a great time. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for, like I told her, the support of this channel really means a lot to me um, because I am able to do what I love, which is kind of share all of these crazy ideas with you guys. Right, so I'm going to dovetail this one right here. Let me reassess. So I like how there's a teal on both sides. I do feel like we probably need a teal little bow on the bottom. So we're going to add one. We're going to pinch right here. And so I just want to say thank you one more time, you guys, for being here. And I'd appreciate it, like I said, if you do like these videos and share them with your friends. So they too can know and come and join the channel. All right, so I'm going to add this one right here to the bottom. So far, that is good. Let's see. And I'm going to cut a tail. Perfect. So I'm going to show you what the bottom looks like. So it has this bow right here. Then, of course, it has all these tails that we're going to leave there. All right, so I'm gonna get my next step, which should all be our ornaments. I'm gonna get those ready and I'll be right back with you, so keep watching. All right, so I am back and I have all my beautiful ornaments right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start by adding some of these large ornaments and I just love how absolutely gorgeous these are. So I'm gonna open my ribbons right here and I'm going to grab one of these bristles and I'm going to twist like that to make sure that they secure in place. So I'm going to add one of these purple ones just right underneath it. And remember to pull all the way in so that way that ornament does stay in place. If you wanted to at this point, you could actually just go ahead and glue them. But you guys know that I do this to share with you all of these ideas. So I have to not glue my ornaments. But if I'm doing this for my Etsy shop or for a client, then of course we're going to glue this. But that's why the wire comes in handy when it comes down to teaching, because that way we can, um, look, stay right there. And so now I'm gonna grab yet another one of the really big purple ones, and I'm going to add it all the way here on the bottom, and you'll be able to see this when I am going to share with you on the door, so stay tuned. All right, so, so far I have four large ones. I'm gonna add a few of these smaller ones. It is the same ornament, but I'm going to attach close to the purple one right here. And that's gonna fill in like you guys can see right here. And I'm going to add a few of the lavender ones and I'm going to add one right on this side like this. I'm gonna add another one over here over to the top. At this point, I want to basically fill in with the lavender ones because they are the smaller ones. So I'm gonna add right here. And just by twisting that wire into a bristle, that ornament's going to stay right in place, like so. I'm gonna grab yet another one. I'm gonna put it on this side. Remember what happens on the left happens on the right. So I have to twist this to me so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put that one right there. And then I'm gonna add all the way on the bottom right here. I'm gonna grab a bristle. And don't be afraid to move your, you know, your swag and to play with it. Because we wanna make sure that we get all of these elements and then at this point we kinda wanna give it a fluff like this to all of our ribbons. So we can see all of them. All right, you guys, so now the next step is going to be to add the picks and the stems and the florals. So I'm gonna get all of those ready, get my hot glue gun plugged in, and I'll be right back with you. Keep watching. All right, so we are back, and now the next step is going to be to add all of our beautiful stems, you guys. And you know that I am so in love with this glitter one. And what I like about it is because look how easy it is to cut. So basically, it has a thin wire, and this particular stem, it's so big and it's so lush. If you are a wreath maker, this is perfect for you because it has so many beautiful, um, what would I call them, stems, I guess. 
and I just like to cut them all at once as I'm sure you know and then we have this other berry right here what I like about this one is because it's just paper wrapped so all you have to do is pull and look you have all of these berries on your stem you guys don't be afraid to cut all of your stems because you already paid for them so might as well get yourself some big bang for your buck and so we're gonna strip them all like that uh, let me do one more while we tell you that if you are new to the channel i really do hope you consider subscribing and if you are subscribed well don't forget to turn that notification bell on you guys so you are notified about the holiday season 2023 because it's just now getting started and i am super excited all right so now that we have all of our berries in our stems what we're going to is we're going to grab one right here and by adding our hot glue gun if you have a um, hot glue pan you can also use that but for this particular one i'm going to use my glue gun and we're going to start on the top i know so many people that haven't seen the channel is like can you just shut up and get to work but you know i like to talk because i get to i feel like i get to talk to my friends every time that i make a video you guys are like my friends so we're gonna start on the top and we're going to move to our right in a zigzag motion so i'm going to start going this way you don't have to have the same element all on one side you can play and just go in this motion if you start doing this s motion as you go down you're going to make sure that you have the same element all throughout your swag so that is a tip i can give you i don't think i ever told you that so if you don't have elements for the swag for all of it what you can do is just go on a zigzag motion or an s motion all the way down and i'll share with you here i'm gonna let that dry and then i'm gonna share how it went like this and it's now all the way down so now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna see how i'm gonna cut this guy let me see we're gonna leave the berries at the end and how can we cut this guy right here um i think one one at a time it's good i'm gonna try something different here so let me cut right here once again if you are making this for sale don't be afraid to cut your ribbons to cut all of your stems because you guys you already paid for it so might as well just get the most bang for your buck all right so i'm gonna add some glue you know what i feel like i feel like this is too long so i'm gonna try and cut even shorter so i'm gonna start right here i'm gonna add some glue to it i'm gonna start right on the other side now so i'm gonna go over to this side and i'm going to the same motion but now i'm gonna go opposite direction okay so we're gonna try something new and crazy and that's what i'm telling you always to try just give it a try you guys you don't have to like be afraid it's just crafting you know the worst thing you can do is that you burn yourself like i just did <laughs> and um well you can always put a band-aid on which is what i do i'm gonna cut this little wire right here you know i met one of the ladies if you're watching also i, I met a one of the viewers on when i went to the shinoda uh, meet and greet and she was so nice and she was telling me how she wanted to start a business but she was so scared to try because she was afraid that she was not gonna sell anything and i told her to just give it a try because when i started designing what i did is i quit my job literally quit my job i wanted to do this design job and so i went to hobby lobby and I bought $200 worth of merchandise, you guys. $200 I didn't even have because I had just quit my job. So I had no money to be spending on just crafting materials, right? But I went there and I bought $200, I remember, uh, worth of product. And then I started designing and I took all of these designs. I took pictures and I took all those designs to this flower shop that was in town. And I just felt so confident and... I remember telling the gentleman, you know, I wrote a letter. I wrote a little letter and I said that I thought I had a God-given talent and that uh, everybody that saw my work thought that I deserved an opportunity. I remember like it was yesterday. And so one day he calls me to his shop and then he sits me down and I was like, yes, I got the job of my dreams, right? And he's like, well, I cannot hire you because I'm fully staffed, but um he's like but you do uh, he's like you i can tell that you have talent on your pictures and i know that you have passion because of your letter he's like but unfortunately well i cannot hire you right now 
So that broke my heart, and so I had to go, <laughs> I had to go back to my old job and ask for it. <laughs> so I'm so grateful that they gave it back, and so I continued selling furniture for a while. I think it was two months that I sold furniture. But one day, the gentleman fell sick, and so they had to hire a designer, and guess who they call? Yours truly. So I was telling that lady that those $200 were perhaps the two hundred best two hundred dollars that I spent because not only they gave me the confidence and then I continued to practice but like I said I got the job after a few months and I just am so thankful that I did and so I told her I was like all you have to do is try 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 and sooner or later you will sell something you will um, well succeed at it if you keep going all right so now I'm gonna add some of this berry and I'm gonna add this really short. I want it to be kind of like a filler. So I wanna add it really packed into my design. And I'm just gonna fill in some of these gaps like this and look at that. See how that just touches everything else and it kind of helps to blend in. You guys, this berry is so pretty. And like if you saw, I just pull it apart and once again, I'm gonna go in that S motion all throughout my design all the way down thumbs up if you are a wreath maker i want to know leave me a comment if you are a wreath maker if you do this for a living i want to know what is your favorite tip that you've ever learned whether it was here on this channel or somewhere else if you make this uh to sell i do want to know what is it that, how can i help you you know achieve a better goal whether it's on etsy do you sell on craft stores do you sell on craft fairs how do you sell i want to know all of it Okay, so I'm gonna continue adding this berry, like I said, in the S motion going down by adding some of these right here. And as you guys can see, like I'm, I'm doing the middle and this berry is really tying in with a beautiful ornament right here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a longer one. When you get past the middle down, you need to start facing them down because that way it looks like it looks more balanced if you put them down than if you actually face them up. Okay, so I'm going to... Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is your theme this Christmas. Have you picked a theme? Have you chose a theme for your holiday decorating? I want to know. I'll tell you what mine is in a video coming up very soon because I'm going to do a shopping haul with the things for the home tour. And I'm super excited for you guys to see what we're going to be doing for the holiday season this year at my house because it is always my favorite time of the year when we get to do the home tour and so i'm super excited to share with you guys okay so i'm going to i need to kind of get away from it to see where it is that i need to add some of this berry sometimes when you work on this side all you do is this side and you forget about this side so you kind of have to step away from it to see where it is that you need some of this material like i just put one right there so now I feel like this over here needs some of it. We're gonna add a few more over on this side because I feel like it was pretty bare. And I'll be right back to give you the next step, so keep watching. All right, I'm back, and so now what I wanna add, you know what, I'm going to add it at the end. So what I'm going to add is going to be the accent ribbon. So you guys saw me use this beautiful um, velvet ribbon on the Christmas tree that we did with this particular theme. So what I want to do is I just want to add a few of these ribbons into my design because that's going to give it that lush look to it. And I just love the fact that this is, um, this is lame back. And so it really does have that beautiful feel to it, that beautiful hand. And I'm just going to add a few of them, like I said. So I'm going to add one right here. Once again, we're going in that zigzag motion. I'm going to add one right here. And I want to cut the tails a little bit shorter so they don't cover a lot of my things. But I do want that little touch of, look, velvet. Do you see that? I feel like I need to put one on the top, on the very top. So I'm going to add this guy right here, trying not to cover all of my beautiful elements. So basically just like that, like that. And I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. Velvet is such a rich material for the holidays that I absolutely love working with velvet and this particular one is so lush so thick on your hand it has such a good hand 
and I just love the, the way it feels. And then I'm going to add just a long one all the way down here. And like I said, this one you probably won't see until the end, but I'm still going to add it there. Like that. We're gonna leave it like so. All right, so now it has my velvet going all the way down. And you guys, it looks so pretty. I'm not even lying. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some of these beautiful butterflies with all the glitter. Because remember, we had those on the tree as well, and we're trying to make it look just as close as the, we can to the tree. So that way, this look is very cohesive. So I'm gonna add one right here on the top. I'm gonna add three of them. Then I'm gonna grab another one, and I'm gonna put it right here on the middle, lifting some of these elements like that. And see how these become a big focal point? It is so pretty, you guys. I cannot wait for you guys to see the close-up. So now I'm going to go over to this side. And I'm going to add her right there. And now we have all of the same elements going all the way down, and it looks so beautiful. But the last thing I'm going to add is going to be some of these picks with the little butterflies. And I do want to cut them once more um, to have them individual. So I want individual butterflies. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue and I'm gonna start right here on the top, like that. What I like about this is because it has this wire so you can really play with them and let them fly, look at that. And then I'm gonna add this other one over on this side, like that. And I'm gonna cut yet another one. Let me move my hot glue gun over here. Oh, this one, I lost the butterfly. I'm gonna save it because I know the butterfly is somewhere. So I'm gonna add this guy over on this side. I'm gonna add a little glue so it sticks over here. And then this particular one, since it's going to be my bottom one, I wanna leave him like this. I wanna leave both of them. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of glue right here. And I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna add it right there. And you guys, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna give the ribbons a little bit of a flap. I'm gonna put this in the door and share with you the end result. Keep watching. Before I share with you the end result, remember last week when I shared with you how to decorate the gorgeous peacock Christmas tree, I had a strip of ribbon and I told you not to get rid of it because we were gonna use it for our wreath or our swag. Well, what, this is what we're going to do. You're gonna grab a scrap of ribbon and you're going to measure it to go all the way down on your wreath hanger. So what we're going to do is going to make sure that we just cut enough of it. I'm gonna cut a straight line right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add just a little dot of glue right here. You don't wanna add a lot of it because you wanna make sure that you can rip it out so that way you can always continue to change it for the wreath that you may be having, whether it's for fall, Christmas, or spring, right? So now I'm gonna hold it straight right there and I'm gonna add yet another glue dot right here, basically just a dot, and then I'm going to go all the way down. So now you have a perfectly covered wreath hanger that is going to make your swag or wreath even more gorgeous. I'm gonna go share with you in the door. Oh my gosh, look how absolutely gorgeous this swag for your front door turned out. You guys, this color combination of the peacock feathers, it really is one of my favorite ones. As I mentioned to you before, this gorgeous velvet ribbon, just by adding some loops to it, it really adds some richness to the swag and the butterflies, you guys. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? All of these colors can be also found on the beautiful peacock Christmas tree that I did. If you have not seen that, I'm gonna link it down below so you can check it out. But I just cannot wait to share with you more and also to read your comments. So let me comment and let me know what do you think.
You know, I'm always telling you that you only get one chance to make a first statement and that is at the front door. And that is so true, you guys. When you receive your family and friends for the holiday season, your door is the first chance that you get to wow them and you can create this beautiful swag. Remember, if these are not your colors, you also can change the colors, just follow the techniques and you too can have a gorgeous, beautiful swag in your front door. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to our next and last DIY for Christmas. It is super simple and really easy to make and I really think you're gonna love it. But before we do that, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below and let me know if you are as ready as I am for the Christmas season 2023. Let's take a look. Okay, so for our last Christmas DIY, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna share with you how to create a gorgeous lantern for your mantelpiece, for an entryway table, anywhere you wanna put it in the home and it's going to be so much fun. So basically what we're going to use is some of the materials we use for our mantel because I'm going to put it on the mantel in place of all of the candles that I share with you guys how to decorate the mantel with. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start by making a little swag. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. You kinda wanna measure them to go down like this. You wanna overlap all of your materials like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do one of these white ones going up like this. And you know what I'm going to do actually, this is where redesign comes in handy. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut this in half because I want my elements to go both up and down. So that would be more appropriate than if we do this right here. Like I, once again, like I tell you, don't be afraid to cut your materials. Because look, instead of having them just going one side, now I have them going both sides. And so now what we're going to do is we're gonna put this white right here, and then we're going to introduce another white one from the back like this. See how now you have a full swag versus just having half of the swag going down. So I'm gonna insert that, and then I'm gonna put a poinsettia right here in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a zip tie. I'm gonna zip tie all of this together in place to make sure that none of this is moving because I want to have this as my focal point for this swag. So I'm going to go ahead and tight, really tight. And then I'm gonna cut the excess, not only of the zip tie, but then also of these stems like this. That way they're not hanging off like that. Okay, so that's gonna be good. I'm gonna put this guy on the side then what I want to do is I want to do a cute little bow and it's going to be super simple. So I'm going to grab my striped white and black ribbon and I'm going to do a little tail like this. And I want to do a cute little bow, just a small one, nothing too big. I'm going to do two loops and then I'm going to have a tail going up and a tail going down. And then I have one of my uh, ribbons, my velvet ribbons, and I have already twisted together. So what I need to do is open this guy right here and what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a ribbon like this look how pretty what beautiful combination this pink and black and white is for the holidays like that and look at that now you got yourself two loops two long loops two short loops it's almost like a funky bow right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my swag and i'm going to introduce this bow right here. Don't be afraid to try. I'm here to encourage you. If I can do it, so can you, I promise. All right, you guys, so now that we have the swag all put together, what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna grab this um, wire and it's a 16 inch, 16 gauge, I always say inch, 16 gauge wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cover it with this tape and what this does is this prevents our fingers from hurting remember i told you earlier i was like for the past few days i was like oh my thumb hurts my thumb hurts well i've been working on christmas and it happens to me every year where i can wrap my wire on tape but it takes a while or i can hurt my fingers and it seems to me that i usually go from hurting my finger all right so now that i have this wrapped wire what i'm going to do is i'm going to Give it a really tight spin like that. And this is going to be our hanger for our lantern. Like that. I'm gonna tie it really tight like this. And now all we have left to do is to turn on our candle. 
our remote operated candle. I'm going to install this in the fireplace. I think these ones need to be a little trimmed out. So I'm going to do all of that and I'll share with you the end result. Keep watching. All right, you guys. So here is our little lantern. As you can see, it is super easy to make and it really ties in with all of this beautiful flocked and black and white and pink and it just adds something to our fireplace right here. I absolutely love the way this all turned out but this lantern is just really another touch of holiday and it ties everything together. I cannot wait to read your comments so leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this beautiful design.